Afternoon glampers and uh, welcome back to the channel. Is anybody there? Yep, I see there. These are there now. Good. An often overlooked little tent uh, if we're continuing on with the uh, uh, the wild camping theme for starting off getting bits and pieces. Little tent I had stashed away. I've used it several times and I must say I'm really impressed with it. It's the, uh, the Van Gogh Blade 100. It's a one person tent. Uh, great wee tent actually, uh, comes in at about one and a half kilos, so it's light-ish, on the light side. Uh, we'll, have a look, we'll have a quick look around it. So traditional blade shape. Quite a small footprint. What I like about it is the the high ridge line, if you like, and I have a thermorest uh, full length air mat inside there. Uh, it just fits nicely, very snug. You have quite a lot of room. There's a pocket here for bits and pieces, a pocket there for bits and pieces, and there's two pockets at the top. There's a proper hook. I'll just turn this wee light on. Actually, you'll probably see a bit better. Uh, Work it up a little bit. So, little hook for your lamp and stuff up there. Two pockets at the top. We mesh vent there that opens out into an external vent. Reasonably high bathtub. Yeah, that's not bad at all. Uh, two way zip, so you can zip that way down or across from the bottom. A bit of a trademark of Ango. The vestibule is a perfect size for uh, lying there or sitting. I mean, like you can sit up in there to actually get changed. You know, it's a reasonable amount of headroom compared to some one man tents, like the Snug Pack Ionosphere, etc., or the Jack Wolf Skin, one man gossamer. But you've got an excellent wee vestibule here, and depending on what way the wind comes, you can either open this side, excuse me, or open. The other side, or fold both sides back. Uh, what I would do, I'd have cut a wee triangular shape here of an old tarp and put it down, and I would stick an old tarp underneath just to protect the the underneath or uh, the underneath of the bathtub. But yeah, it's, it's an impressive wee tent. I'm surprised I actually haven't used it more often. And you can see by the specs there, it's uh, 5,000 hydrostatic head on the fly fire retardant and it has the T6 alloy lightweight pole which is only one off one big pole goes over the top very sturdy I mean if the wind's coming uh, from the front or from the back that thing's not moving at all coming from the side might be a different <laughs> might be a different story I don't know whether it'll turn into a, a sail or not but I suppose the way it's designed the wind would Scoot up over the top of it, but it's pretty. St I mean, it's pretty rigid, so it is. Yeah, I think I will take that out on a, another excursion. I remember I had it out one time before, I was about three or four years ago, and it was caught out in the most horrendous, horrendous rain. And uh, it uh, didn't, didn't uh, let in at all. It was bone dry. Vango have a very good standard on their hydrostatic head. Most of the tents like, start off at about 5,000. I think it's about seven or 8,000 for the bathtub. But, uh, I mean, 5,000 of a hydrostatic head is what I would look for in a tent. Uh, you would be comfortable in long, heavy, persistent rain. And you know that'll keep you dry for hours and hours and hours. Maybe a couple of days if you're, if you're really caught out. But yeah, which brings me on to what I was talking about last week, uh, about uh, 
various cooking bits and pieces. And I did mention that I ordered up a little grill. It's called the Bitty Betty. No, what the hell's it called? Bitty Big. <laughs> What's it? Uh, <laughs> Bitty Betty. Bitty Big Q. That weighs 500 grams. And I'm going to open that up and show you. And I'll cook an egg or something and a pot of tea just to show you. I mean, that, that is that is an incredible wee bit of kit. I'm sorry I didn't find or discover that before. But we'll have a wee look at that there. So, Betty Big Q, or Betty Big Q. <laughs> I call it Betty Big Q. Comes in its own little, very heavy duty canvas pouch. 500 grams, I mean, it weighs nothing. It's actually lighter than the Bushcraft Essentials Firebox XL. So, here it is. Get it out there. Um, so, opens out. So, you have legs on each corner. These extend, there's, there's one height. Second height. And they just click into whatever setting you want. Second, and then if you want it higher up off the fire, click. Excuse me, click. Another Baltic Sunday, trying to snow again, and click. There it is at its full height. But the good thing about it, you have twice. And that'll hold a Dutch oven. Not that's a small kettle. But frying pan, small Petromax Dutch oven, the uh, kettles, pots and pot, whatever you want to put on it. You have your fire low over here. So wee bit of a movement here, but once you get a bit of weight on it, it'll be sturdy enough. It's an excellent, excellent little piece of kit. As I say, just fold it all down again to whatever height you want it, but th that will pop into anybody's rook. And another option for cooking for those bushcrafters and cavemen who like throwing a steak over the fire. It's another alternative. I mean, there's another option for a small fire. I mean, this bio here, that's a handy wee bit of kit. Little fire pit opens out. Put that in a little canvas pouch. Excuse me, put that in a little canvas pouch. And do you want to know where I got that from? Sainsbury's in their home and homeware department. It was 2 99 I think it's something for steaming vegetables or something, that thing, but what a great little fire pit. There was a big rush to Sainsbury's now to get those. Highly recommend it. Folds away, that'll go into a little canvas pouch bag. Folds down and then just a little fire on top. See what I'm getting at? Perfect little options for cooking in the wilds. Throw a steak on there, throw your burgers on over the fire. Big steak, no problem, open it out. Bigger fire, extend it all out. Great, great, great wee piece of kit. Highly recommended. That there, cheapest chips, couple of quid out of Sainsbury's hardware, homeware department. And a little canvas bag. That goes into its own little pouch. Sorted. I mean, look at that. How cool is that? It's Canadian, so you're nearly almost guaranteed it to be of a very good quality steel. Which it is, of course. What I would recommend is it comes with a little tool for scraping bits of steak and burger and sausage and bacon and all sorts of off. You can scrape, blah blah blah. It's dishwasher friendly, apparently. Not that I'm putting that in the dishwasher. Let's give it a rinse under the tap. And uh, basically, what they do recommend is that you get a little bit of oil and on the joints, just get a wee sprig of oil just to keep it nice and free 
because it is quite stiff, which is, I suppose is a good thing. But just a little bit of oil to protect the joints. Perfect. So, just a wee quick one today there. Uh, hopefully it'll give somebody food for thought or a bit of an idea. As I say, those, uh, those wee uh, Van Gogh blades, 100s, are going on eBay first. You can get them, pick them up 30, 40 quid. Definitely get one, get one. If you're on the lookout for a, a light backpacking tent, one and a half kilos, fully waterproof, uh, you can't go wrong with it. Great wee vestibule for cooking up your meals, your boiling the bags and whatnot. So uh, hopefully somebody found this wee video interesting or of use, especially with the wee uh, the wee grill. Betty, 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 Big Q, or whatever the hell it's called. <laughs> Betty Big Q, I'll call her from now on. Great wee grill, very versatile, very light, takes up hardly any space in your rock. So anyway, that's another one over. Uh, Next one will be, I have no idea, playing it by ear and winging it, as the saying goes. So look after yourselves, look after each other, uh, stay safe, God bless, catch us on the next one.